again. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, semifinal number five coming up. We have over in your red side, number two alliance, really close to the top. Number one alliance, they're going to need a little bit of help in a big match to move on to the finals. Let's start out with blue. It's all about team number 10, 23. From Temperance, Michigan, it's the Bedford Express. But what about the Alliance Captains 2056? Out of Stony Creek, Ontario, OP Robotics. Running up with the great scoring machine of 1806. From Smithville, Missouri, it's SWAT. Number one Alliance keeping in the legendary team number 16. From Mountain Home, Arkansas, the Bomb Squad. Joining in the Alliance captains looking for a huge match. It's 17-30. Out of Lee Summit, Missouri, team driven. And let's round it up. Legendary 11-14. From St. Catharines, Ontario, it's Symbotics. All right, we do have a green light. Let's check in. Drivers behind the line. Ready. Semi-final number five in three, two, one, rush. All right, here we go, autonomous. Both alliances grabbing two containers and pull them over onto their side. Symbotics and the Bedford Express both going for the bonus. Symbotics don't have it over the line. It looks like Bedford Express did. So 20 points for the Red Alliance as we enter into teleoperator mode. Drivers now have control of the robots. Everybody's moving here. Semi-final number five. Just as a reminder, each one of these four alliances that made it to the semifinals will get three opportunities to play. We will then average together the score of those three matches. And those scores and that average score, the two that have the highest average will advance to the finals and play one-on-one. -on -one. So we got three stacks over on the red side now, two on the blue. That groaning you heard earlier was one of the containers falling off of one of the blue stacks. The stack stayed up though. Factory sounds on both left and right sides here. Basic assembly line type of production going on as they build their stacks. There's a fifth stack put up over on the red side. Here comes number five for blue, 1730 team driven, dropping that off. One of the loudest competitions we've had in recent memories. Here comes another stack, number six, dropped off by Symbotics, 11-14 for the Blue Alliance. But here's a sixth one dropped off by Bedford Express, 10-23 for Red. And now number seven dropped off by Team Driven and number eight by Symbotics over on the blue side. Ten seconds remaining in the match. Bomb Squad trying to do a last second score here with six seconds. Four, three, they do it, two. One. Wow, some great scoring at the end there by both alliances. I'm gonna have to walk onto the field to see how many stacks we got. Five, seven, nine and a half over on the blue side. Eight and a half over on the red side. Most have Stores have recycling containers on top, a couple don't. Referees tabulating the score, we'll get back to you in a minute with that. This was semi-final match number five. So there'll be one more semi-final match after this, then we'll know who advanced to the finals. And we'll go one-on-one -on -one from there.
All right, we have an official score here for the Red Alliance. 332 points. Blue scored 284. Both numbers raising their averages. So if you look at the leaderboard, Alliance 2 has the lead after that match, but Alliance 3 still has a match to go. So they're going to play now. So we've got one more semifinal match. That's going to be Alliance 8 versus Alliance 3. And that will finalize our two finalists that are going to go head to head. Going upstairs to Colin and Danny. Semi-final number five, saw our number one seed once again struggle. They were, they were playing back-to-back -back matches. It's hot in the building. We've seen some of the drive crews, you know, trying to fan each other, drinking water, trying to keep cool. Um, but it looks like the, the stress was, you know, starting to show. Uh, Robot wasn't positioned just, you know, quite correctly. Uh, some of their alliance partners uh, missed some sacks. They lost a container. Um, and right now they're sitting in fourth place, which looks like they might be out of this tournament. On the other side, the number two seed, they moved up into the number one spot. Um, really executed really well there. They made six perfect stacks. It was the thing of beauty to watch. And they're really showing that their drivers are living up to the potential of these robots. They were able to score the last stack. As the buzzer was sounding, we kind of all held our collective breath, watched it settle. It was good. Referees counted it. They're making big scores and really doing well.